Hi, welcome to Spice Up Your Blog. Okay, so in this quick video, what we're going to do is we're going to see how, while using the new blogger interface to you know blogger design, how we can go and invite um, multiple authors on, onto our blog. So to do this, we can create a community blogger. You can invite your friends or family to have and give them access to, to, to write and publish posts onto your blog. Um, you can also, you also have two levels of access you can provide. You can invite somebody to basically only be an author. All they can do is write posts, publish posts. And the other level of access is admin control. And when you give them admin control, they basically have complete control over your blog so they can access all areas. Um, so it's quite simple to do and we're going to go ahead and do it now. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to our new blog, the blogger dashboard here. And we're going to do it with just one of our test blocks. We've test blog 222. And the first thing we're going to do is go to the settings. We're going to click the drop down menu. And we're going to go to settings. And when we go to the settings page, we'll go to the basic settings. And that's where we want to be. Because if we scroll down the bottom of the page here, we'll see the permissions and blog authors. So we're going to click add authors. And in here, we paste or type or paste the, the, the email address of the people we want to invite. So I'm just going to pop in one. Call a spice of your blog .com. Okay, so I have that one typed in. Now, if I wanted to invite multiple authors at this time, I'll just paste a comma, a space, and type in another email, comma, space, another email, and on and on. But we're just going to invite one author, which is going to be this, and I'm going to click the invite authors button. Now, once I do this, um, I will be told that that author has been invited. But the author that you've just um, invited does have to accept the invite. And um, there's the email telling me I've been invited, so they do have to accept the invite. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop over to the email account, and I will see you there. Okay, so here we are in the email account, and we can see the email has come in. The blogger user Paul Crow has invited you to contribute to the blog test blog two two two. To contribute to this blog, visit this link. So when we click this link, um, I, I am. Basically, the person you invited, if they have a, a Google account, they can log straight in and, and be into Blogger straight away. If they don't have a Google account, they will have to set one up to have access to your blog. So I'm going to click this link, and I should be straight into Blogger with access to Test Blog 222, which I am. So here we go, Test Blog 222, and I have access here to start writing. Um, one of the things we will notice now is that we have only given author access to this email. So if I click, you can see I get settings, but there's only one or two basic settings. So that's the only control I have over this blog. And to change that, what I need to do is I need to offer admin privileges. So we're going to head back to this page here, the settings page for test blog 222. And we're going to come down to where we invited the author. So we see one open invitation. And if I refresh the page, that should have changed to actually having the author where he has or accepted. And here it is. So there you can see I now have this author with author privileges. And to give complete control to this author, all I have to do is click the drop down and click admin. Once I do that, we can see it's saving and now it's been saved. So not trying to be too confusing, we're going to go back to the author which we invited. And this is the page here. And if you remember, all we have is the basic settings. If I refresh this page this time, sorry, one sec. Yep, let's refresh the page. And um, this time, when I click the drop down menu, you will see I have all the settings and complete access to the blog. So there, what we've done, we've invited an author to the blog and given them author privileges. We've then gone ahead and given them full admin privileges. And what I'm going to show you now is how to quickly revoke those privileges. So we have the author that we invited here and we can basically reset that back to only author privileges by just clicking author and then they're back to only having author privileges they can't, they can't um, edit the template or edit any of the settings or former posts and the other thing we can do for some reason that's still saved and the other thing we can do is completely get rid of that author by clicking the X beside their name here so you can see that person has been set back to author but to completely delete them and revoke all access we just click that X button and they've now been deleted and they have no access to our blog anymore so this is great to create community blogs or to invite friends and family and give them privileges to write on your blog. And it's very, very, very simple to do as we've seen there. Okay, thanks for watching the video.